Hello everyone, welcome to the first day of my Valentine's Day card series. This is also part of the Newton's Nook Valentine's Treat Bag blog hop, so I will have the links below for that. Um, I'm starting with the Newton's Nook Wild About Zoo stamp set, and I'm stamping the elephant. It's just on a little piece of Coordination's 110 pound cardstock, and I'm stamping that with my Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And then I will go ahead and color that in with my Copic markers. So I went ahead and fussy cut that out with the white border around the edge and I'm going to use one of these craft tags and I just cut the bottom off a little bit, probably like a half an inch I'd say. And I'm going to just place my elephant there um, just so I can see where I want to stamp my sentiment. So I'm stamping the sentiment from the same stamp set that says you're a ton of fun. And I'm stamping that with my Tuxedo Black Memento ink as well. And then I'm taking the Solid Heart from the same set. And I'm first going over my tag with my embossing powder bag. And then I'm stamping that heart with my Versamark ink. And I'm going to place my elephant back on there so I can see where that's going. And then I'll just place or stamp the heart two times above the elephant and then once below. And then I'm going to cover this with the Rouge Embossing Powder from Zhang. That's from American Crafts. And I just want to cover um, all three of those hearts. And then I'll go ahead and heat that and emboss it with my heat tool. Alright, so next I can move on to the bag part. I just have this craft um, bag. I got these from Pick Your Plum, but you can find them like pretty much anywhere now. And I'm filling that with my candy. I chose Snickers because that's what I found in the house. <laughs> and then I will fold over the top of it and then seal that into place with some washi tape just so that it, the candy doesn't fall out or anything. I found this cute red polka dotted washi tape in my collection. I'll just tear a little bit of it off. Alright, so then I'm going to place my tag on top of that. And then I'm taking this twine from Doodlebug. And I'm going to wrap that around there a few times um, with the tag included because I want that to be secure there. So I'll just wrap, wrap, wrap my twine around there and then cut off the excess. And then I'm going to tie that into a bow. And 
And you could also just adhere that tag down a little bit right onto the bag if it's easier because it was kind of moving underneath me. Alright, so I'll trim off the excess twine. And then before I do adhere the elephant down, I'm just going to take a little piece of scotch tape and put that over the twine just because that tag did keep on moving and I did not want that to fall out um, when the recipient was getting their bag. So there I'm placing the scotch tape and then I'm adhering that elephant down you saw me with the 3D foam squares. So I'll just take the backs off from those and then I can stick that elephant right over that piece of tape so that it covers it up. And then that is my finished treat bag. So hopefully this was simple enough where you could recreate many of these for your friends and family this Valentine's Day. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you back here next time. Bye!